Hello everybody, welcome to the Meme Machine, game number seven. Uh, hoping for a recovery game after getting banged on by uh, by the Orcs, but now I'm probably going to get banged on by Chaos. Yep, he's got Claw Mighty Blow. Brashfagor, great name. Um, and Cryfagor, brilliant. He's got a couple of good faggers there. Um, what What's the damage from this? I don't forget. Miss next game. Black Orc. I guess I could have bought that lineman, but nah, not really. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, I mean, Bra Wizard's going to be better for winning. But Apple. Or a bribe, and then I can go for the foul with a dirty player. Alright, let's go bribe, and I'll try a foul in with a dirty player. Um. Yeah, Troll of Goblins definitely in a league backyard dodo when there's like uh, when you know when the TV isn't such a thing. I think in TV based matchmaking, you definitely want to not have a troll because it's more TV. But in stuff like NAF NAF things, it's a strength five roadblock in NAF format. And in leagues, it's it's a strength five. You know, strength five is good, isn't it? More strength, more strength, more guard. It lets you smother the chaos teams more. Um, it's just that, obviously, in um, in this kind of format, it just gives you increases the chance of fighting claw mighty blow, which is not what you want to do. Hello, fudge nipples. Hello, BZL. Hello, VIP Kurgle as well. Um, oh right, so he's letting us just blitz that guy. It's very nice of him. And fouling. Um, right, I'm going to put him there just to get the push. I right, go there in case of blitz, eh? Something, something protecting the edges in case of a blitz. Nah, fuck it. All men's LOS. Let's go. Can't believe he exposed his, his best player. So he, I guess he's either a beginner or not very good, um, depending on how you want to call it. But um, laying his blitz and like he's seen that I've got the uh, I've got the uh, inducement there. It's not for sure. I can assure him. I guess I can go for a pickup. Who lets you who lets you get a three assist foul on your best player on turn one? That's crazy, isn't it? With a dirty player, with a bribe. Um that, I, I can't say I agree with his strategy there. <laughs> um, yeah, it's shit. I mean, that was absolute shit. That was that was garbage play by him. Um, without being nasty, that was just simply awful. It's his one chance to win the game, like if, if game, if you like. It's the only edge that the chaos have, isn't it? Is having the claw mighty blow. It's a hell of an edge as well. That one player almost makes him favourite to win from no chance. And yet, he just exposes him to getting blitz with Mighty Blown, fouled with by Dirty Player. Bribe. Crazy. Crazy play. 
and then he makes an unsafe blitz. A bit silly, isn't it? He's got a Russell player right there. So yeah, it's safe to say he's a beginner or not uh, or not so good at blood bowl. Yeah, exactly. Look, I, I don't like I, you know I don't like insulting people for playing shit. It's it's what it's what Lupa did a lot of, and I really I really fucking went off him for it. I really did. I thought he was a complete prick towards the end. Um, so I really don't want to do that. But by the same token, you've got to point out when when a player's horrible, haven't you? I wasn't ever a beginner, to be honest. I was. I read the rules and I was instantly good. Um, well, instantly above average, shall we say? <laughs> yeah. I I lost I lost like uh, I lost one game of blood ball, um, in you know probably the first ten years of playing. <laughs> um, so yeah, flings not bad. Right, he can get blocked. Well, you don't want to blitz with mighty blow, don't I? But he's a bit out of position thanks to this guy's genius play. Um. I guess we've got to do the classic fash binder safe moves first. I would like to actually make the cage further up the field, but you you literally have to do safe moves first, don't you? There's no need, no reason not to in this game. Flings. Flings do make some crazy plays, don't they? I mean, they're not my cup of tea, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Flings and goblins and, well, vampires make some crazy plays, don't they? In the world. This should be a regulation. A regulation 2-0 clobbering, shouldn't it, this game, really, from how he's played these first couple of turns. But, having said that, dice can happen. He might make some amazing, amazing play as well. And plus, the claw of Mighty Blow might just go off on a second half. It is 75% to come back, isn't it? Bribe's gone, so no more fouling till the second half. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I am on the right. <laughs> exactly, Tony. Obviously, DP's solely reserved for him. Shame to have to use the bribe on the first foul, but got the KO, which is good enough, isn't it? He is going for the basing. He is going for the all man's, all man's basing. Armour nine block mighty blow team. So probably won't fail. <laughs> That's the question, isn't it, Shawnee? Do you go Do you go bludge guard or do you go block bomb? It's interesting. <laughs> what has happened to you? No, I think I think to be fair, I think uh Slan are a fucking weird team and nothing's really obvious what to take on any of them to be on to be honest. Can't actually blitz him with the uh, mighty blow. But of course can just block him with a carrier. Get him to there. 
and then fill in the spot. It's a board down, it's a little bit annoying. Good ball basing, buddy. I should, I should, I should, should, uh, I should note the timestamp of this, and it can be a lesson on why it's not good to base the ball for no reason. <laughs> it's amazing how many people do it. It's like they've, it's honestly like they've just looked at some video on the internet that says, you know, how do I, or, or advice on Reddit when people say, how do I stop the cage? And then they say, like, you know, base the ball. And it's just not a good idea, is it? It's so not a good idea. Mighty Blow doing nothing. Should have gone for a... Should have gone for a Beastman with the 8 there. But, um... I just couldn't reach him. I wanted to blitz him, didn't I, really? He can go there. He's left this gaping hole in the middle. It's just that... Sure, it did stop me advancing for one turn, but it's turn three, so so what? Don't want to give away a block, don't want to dodge. So just leave him there as well. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he could block. Well, yeah, standard blitzer skills and the blitzers, but they can be bludge guard sidestep, or they can be, uh, or they can be block pom, can't they? Um, block, jump up. I mean, they start with jump up, but you know what I mean? Like they can jump up, tackle pom. Is really good for for slam blitzers, but so is bludge, diving tackle, sidestep, um, with jump up as well. So like. They're, 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 slam blitzers can be really good. It's just uh, right. Let's get a blitz in here. Again, it would be better blitzing the beast man, but I mean, removing him is better, isn't it? So. Then he can block him. Oh shit, I didn't see that assist. <laughs> oh well, I can just do this one first. Oh well, that was pretty bad of me, wasn't it? <laughs> one nice pow. Get to fuck. And still leaving him there is alright. Hello, Mo. Moldy. Hello, VIP Pedro Jack. <laughs> Hello, Scuff Muffin. Thank you. <laughs> Mulvey. <laughs> Muldy must not be in. Oh, there's something I've got to do with... Um... Oh, there you go, that works. Alright, good. Good, that still works. <laughs> Not so nice from Pedro, but thank you. <laughs> top 10. Possibly top 8. We've got the top 8 for... Uh, I do have to do something with better Twitch TV. There's something I've got to do with fucking... 
something I've got to do with Twitch TV. Better Twitch TV, I got an email. We've got the aid. We've got the top aid for the uh for the fucking legendary invitational. Should be good. Guard could go in here, that's a great place for the guard, isn't it? I've got to move these two first. Ah, oh, guard's based by two people. So blitz him, block him. Hmm. I guess he can go there first. Right. If this is a double, if it's a quad skull, it's really bad, isn't it? So. I just want to see what happens though, fuck it. Even a both down isn't great with an oven wrestle. Right, that's acceptable. Choose. Cry some more, thank oh god. <laughs> Cry, fuck. Um, hello, Emperor Augustus. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. I should have the record in the corner, shouldn't I? They're, uh, they've won five, lost one. Because um, I conceded a game. Uh, because things went very badly. I mean, he could go in there, and he could go in there, and he could one dice. It's just giving up blocks, isn't it? It's not good. He could dodge and get in there, and then he could two dice. for it as well. Oh shit, I should have chosen both down. Oh well. Gets him further away at least. Gonna have to start moving next turn. Cry some more, fuck off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Isn't it? sighs> Got quite a few people behind the ball here, which isn't good. He's finally realised he should be blitzing the mighty blow guy. Well done. Took five turns. But he's got there. Ah, no, it was just an opportunity to base the ball, is what he was what he was grasping. Though strangely not blitzing with his wrestle guy again. Right, should be able to get a good turn next turn. Blocked his dodge out. Yep, herp up, base, base, base. Alright, can have a can have a fantastic herp, herp, turn base, this base, turn. Base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Didn't have a fantastic turn. Should have moved him first, eh? Probably. The old YouTube cage, as some assholes call it. <laughs> right. Um, eating 2D here. And might as well occupy a Chaos Warrior with a uh, with a shitty lineman. Try for the knockdown to free up the guard. Yeah. Good. Also bases two guys, isn't he? Kind of. So he can just he could run around or he could run over here to 
to get relevant. What's he got? He can block him. And then he can get three guys up here. But then that leaves him there. Probably don't need the uh, guard that much. But that lets him get somewhere anyway, potentially. Well, quad skulls, Tony. Yeah, leaving him beside the ball was was amateur hour, wasn't it? <laughs> Great master. <laughs> Boom. How did I know how did I know that was coming? <laughs> It's simply not true. The hater does not support your assertion. <laughs> Do you know what? It was that long ago. It was that long ago that Dodd was on the uh, was on the show with Lou Pack that I just you know, I just hope that's how he that's how he actually speaks. I can't remember how he actually speaks. He didn't even stand up his uh, guard his guard, his warrior, that's amazing. So the guard the guard gets to come in. Um could blitz him, couldn't I? He's the biggest threat, and then move up here. Um, I would rather get more central than force down the sideline there. Like one, two, three, four. With a pow, it's amazing, isn't it? But I guess even without a pow, if he if he comes to assist, and then he blitzes. Oh, death. Bessney beard. Get fucked. Got to up all that. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Blow here. Thanks very much. And him there to help with the inevitable ball basing. I guess he wants to stop him doing something with like GFIs. You never know. Was dead for a whole three seconds. <laughs> yeah, Insta Apple wasn't it? Obviously. Oh wow, is that an I am the stats? No gang foul and add four. Nah, nah. I've only got eleven players, and I've used my bribe. So, nah. If I had twelve guys, I would have done. I mean, I would have absolutely. I would have been fouling every turn if I'd had twelve players. But, um, nah. I really don't like fouling. Well, I mean, I love fouling, but I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> Hardly ever. Oh, he's got his Canoran threat out, kind of, nearly.
do have to blitz somebody. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I don't. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I could go for a mighty blow hit on him. Which is just better than a, a hit on him, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, this might be possible. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, definitely, definitely possible. I tried to troll, but level was so low, sarcasm wasn't detected. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I hope it's the claw guy that stayed out. No, it's not. Now, oh, well. Fuck. It's a level up for potato, though, isn't it? Up to 17. Um, I think I've got a garbage time save set up. Set up save. Yeah. Good. And just swap him with him. He's on four, that random line. Oh, holy shit. Right. Time for the luck to swing now, isn't there? All right, I had a bright though. That's fair enough then. I saw Skrull dude uh, in Fasher's Discord where he just asked a sensible question about Rocket League, whereas I was I was hoping for a question um, about Hawk Throwers. Oh, Riot. He's got his chance. Unbelievable, Jeff. Um, I'd probably give him block, to be honest. Block's not bad, is it? He's really not bad. Oh, no, the Fash posted it in my Discord, the Rocket League. Yeah, it was another throw. Ah, right, that's it. I've made 13 passes in 25 Orc teams so far. I think he is good. <laughs> Blitzers are too useful to waste on carrying the ball. Oh, man, people still saying that. People still saying that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, isn't it? Blitzers are too valuable to be to be wasted levelling up. <laughs> you know. You know. Maybe like that's the main reason is if you carry on a thrower, you're not levelling up your blitzers, isn't it? You know? And you fucking want to level up your blitzers. He's got a reserve. Well no he hasn't actually because he's taken a Kaz. But if he hadn't taken a Kaz, I'd be fully behind the foul, but with a KO'd guy. I think the foul here is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Being too useful to take sure hands, um, yeah, but they're still not too useful to not carry on. Ah, oh, there you go. Lucky as fuck. Um, I'll apo it. Keep him on the pitch, innit? Need 11 guys to... Uh, Okay, he got sent off, so he wasn't that lucky. But it, that's such a bad foul. Because he knows I'm going to fucking apple it. He can't hit this. 
So. Yeah. Yeah, pass to the blitzer. So you just so so it, you're just playing suboptimally with a pass to a blitzer. Like that's awful, isn't it? Banking on more three plus rolls to score. Obviously, the best way to score is by make, by whoever picks it up scores. That is the best way to score on any team because it's the safest. So, um, he looks like he will foul again. Um, so, yeah, well, as you can see, he's 97% to break armor. So, it doesn't really matter that I'm armor 9. Normally, it's bad fouling armor 9 because you, you just roll two dice and try to beat their armor. But you get a plus one for everyone helping them. However, if you roll a double on the armor or the sending off, you get sent off, which is like being casual, dude. So he was—he took about a thirty percent chance to get cast himself, just to break armor, and you know he could have just stunned or he could have knocked out. I'm going to apple whatever he does because I've only got eleven players, so he knows I'm going to apple if he's if he's smart. He knows I'm going to apple, so it's just a horrible, a horrible, horrible foul. The first one, the second one, fair enough. The second one's a frustration foul. I understand that. But the first one, you know, he's, he's reduced himself to 10 players. Whoa, what's that? There was a million cars. He's reduced himself to 10 players for no reason. Um, crazy motherfucker. Right, time to... Uh, and obviously, that might, might take a permanent injury, thanks to Claw Mighty Blow. But still. Um, I still think it was a fucking crazy foul. I've only got three three black orcs for this game. Didn't even realise till now, being under that much pressure. <laughs> you might go for the mighty blow guy just cause. I guess I'd rather lose a rookie black orc than a skilled up blitzer. I mean skilled up with a cast. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, dirty players get a plus one. Well, plus one to AV break or injury. I'm mean, crucially it's on the injury, isn't it? Um, yeah, sneaky git is absolutely terrible. Yeah, sneaky git is untakeable by anybody um, with any any knowledge of mathematics. <laughs> um, if you have any knowledge of mathematics, you cannot take sneaky git. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really, really terrible. Um, dirt, dirty Play gives you a plus one to armor if you need it. And if you don't need it on, to break armor, you get a plus one to an injury. So if he was making the fouls with Dirty Player, and if I didn't have a, an apothecary, it wouldn't have been such a bad foul. But still, it just it just gives him the chance to screw himself, doesn't it? For a fucking line. Or, it's not worth it. Well, people who people who don't know anything about maths could think that it's good, but um, but if you have any any knowledge of maths at all, you can you can see that it's not worth it. Exactly, yeah, exactly. BZL for those who pick the skills randomly, it's just as good as any other skill. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, nice. One in eighty-one. Nah. Boo. No, but you people mathed it out on fumble for Jellyol's benefit. Who can't spear? Pe who, <laughs> people did do the math on it, and it's just it's just never worth it. <laughs> to be fair, I did get banged on by uh, Skinks with Sneaky Git, who just fouled us every turn. Yeah, the math shows how little you get from it. Yeah, absolutely. That's the thing. The maths the maths proves how awful it is. There you go. Claw Mighty Blow doing work straight away. This is why he shouldn't have exposed him to a mighty blow blitz and a foul on turn one of the game. Straight away, he's got, I mean, he could he could still draw here just from the sheer power of claw mighty blow. Both of them, it, it took both there, didn't it? Eight on the armor and then seven on the injury. <laughs> An orc throw with sneaky kid, brilliant. Um. Hmm. 
whether I've blitz here, unless it's him, I've got to put in the guard guy. So I guess I don't want to put in the guard guy. So it has to be him. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I'm going away from the ball, which uh, doesn't seem a great idea, does it? But there you go. Have to blitz with mighty blow, don't you? Even though it's taken him out completely away from from where he wants the action to be. Move these guys back, he can only blitz a lineman. GFI, but it's three plus. Yeah, it, it does have a small niche in making an assisted foul, but even then, even then. There you go, he made the GFI to do it. Brilliant. How how thoroughly predictable of him. Right. Dirty player's the wrong side. Fuck, that's the only bad thing. Maybe I shouldn't have put the dirty player over there. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Mary, kill, fash, scene, e, mold. Oh, fucking hell, I nearly fucking fell <laughs> Oh my god, what's this? Fuck, Mary, kill, fash, Sean, e, mold. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Well, thank you very, very much for the resub, Adonta Girls. I'll have to answer your question later. Um, because, in a bit of a. in a bit of a struggle with this turn at the moment. I haven't blitzed yet, have I? Don't really care about the ball. Do care about mighty blow blitzers. Did I move the uh, the journeyman guy? Yeah, oh, yeah, to assist. Oh, well, that's fair enough. All right, I just have to foul this guy. Absolute madman. Got to foul him, haven't I? Kill. Perfect. So that was a bit of a Fashbinder crazy blitz there where he exposed himself. Like even if he'd powered me, he was still getting blitzed and fouled next turn, wasn't he? Um <laughs> Hello VIP Hessian. Um right. Right, some Skaven's dubs on your first level claw, yeah, yeah, absolutely, claw was correct, yeah, you really need claw. Um, <laughs> all right, marry mole, <laughs> marry mole, fuck Shawnee, kill Fash. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, why do I have to make this decision? I don't want to do that. <laughs> Oh yeah, marrying fashion like your pressure mode is dream. I don't I don't 
I don't want to do any of those things. <laughs> to be honest, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to fuck, marry, or kill any of those three people. So, um, so <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> no offense to anybody, but I literally don't want to do any of those things. <laughs> right. Uh, he's he's doing quite well. I mean, I say he's doing quite well. He might it might just be but look that he's he's got these warriors here but is, he is doing quite well at stopping me making a blitz in here devastating blitz to stick up his cage um one two three four five six five six seven eight nine he's down to nine versus ten so we've got the man's advantage would like to blitz him but i'd just take a guy right out of the equation i think it's worth it Right, safe moves first. Hmm, I think I'll hold the edge with him. Have the guard ready to go either way. Blow blitz. There you go, Bosch. Slash Fi Claw. Got banged on by Mighty Blow Dude. I guess getting more central for next turn. I don't hate it. <laughs> Until Samus do us bad. <laughs> yeah, add Johnny's Warrior, yeah. This game block would have been better. Oh fuck. There you go. Hold hold the sideline with a with a strength guy, get him cards. Nine versus no, no, I don't run movements. Eight versus nine, so I'll still have the men, the men's advantage. Wem dope. <laughs> yeah, like it's gonna. Well, you can argue that it would pay off eventually, but um. Sorry, I'm coughing my guts out right now. Um, right, elf screen it. Let's fucking go. Um... Could vaguely pressure the ball here, I think. I guess I want to keep him as a sweeper, whatever happens. Yeah, I've, I, in my opinion, I would never ever take um, agility on a warrior. I would never take it. But I think the rationale of people who do take it is that eventually it will pay off. But it takes a long old time for it to pay off. Like, what do you even give him for the rest of the skills? I don't even know. Oh my god. My fucking chest is fucked here. How do I manage to get real opponents? Um, well, I mean, he's a beginner, isn't he? So maybe he hasn't learnt to uh, quit yet. To concede yet. Learnt to press the concede button. I don't know. I mean, I think quite a few people concede when I play them. So. 
probably about average, isn't it? Yeah, not strength advantage, no. Only two only two um only two black orcs. And he's still got four Chaos Warriors and the Beastmen Blitz with Strength Four, so he does have quite the strength advantage, to be honest. He's making the play. Oh man. He's not in scoring range though. Oh he is if he quad GFI, is it? <laughs> Look back at the agility fire one years and quarterback. Oh my god. Yeah, every slam coach ever, yeah. Yeah, eventually it will pay off as usually shit in Blood Bowl, yes, absolutely. I agree. He's done quite a good little move here, but he can't score, can he? That's the crucial thing. He's not in scoring range, so I can bring everyone back to cover. Could have based the ball there, couldn't have followed. The extra movement could have, I could have it would have allowed me to base the ball. But um you know, what would it really achieve? That's the thing. Not a lot, in my opinion. Do you buy extra throw ins? Um, yeah, block first on the line. Ones, yeah. Potato. He could have again, he could have, he could have run back. And pass and run to the side, but um, if he had, again, he couldn't have scored without lo numerous GFIs, and st he was still nearly there to get him back, wasn't it? So that's why I thought this was better to hedge over this side than base the ball. Base the ball. He's all in on the potato instead. All right, so he wants to go there. And him there. So we can make a sexy little mighty blow block there. I'd rather block him with him to get the edge for to, re to recover, but that's, uh, that's a bit silly, isn't it? So he's gonna have to block here first.
I'm gonna have to follow as well and get hit. Just to, it takes up two players' actions, doesn't it? Right, I really want to make this block. Um, first, because he's going to have to go for the recovery, isn't he? Hit him there so it doesn't go out of, out of bounds. Could be very dodgy if it went out of bounds. Not bad. Oh, throw a throws game. <laughs> well, man. One nil, one nil win. Hopefully. Ah, yes, that, I saw that on the exhibition. Yeah, that is pretty funny. That is pretty funny, Kurgo. <laughs> it looks like GG, doesn't it? But um, you can get one dice on the ball. Oh no, you can feel the GFI. Yeah, the blizzard was quite handy, wasn't it? Two turns, oh, it's not really, I'd have to make. I'd have to chain him and make four GFI, so yeah, not not gonna try to score. Can't score this turn even if he pauses and gets the ball. And if this edge guy does something, how bad would I feel? That was a bit of a bastard for a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gotta just go for the pickup. Oh, baby. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. Oh, shit. Maybe I should have made a GFI then. It's not even that hard for him to get a one dice. I guess he's only got one turn, so who the fuck scores if he does get the one dice? Yeah, this guy is not doing a lot, is he? He probably should have gone there. Or here, or something. No, here. Here's probably where he should have gone. I don't know.
Greed is right. Greed works. Can't believe it. I can't believe I greeted that hit. To be honest, I can't even believe I greeted that. With with no apple, imagine if I double scored it and the mighty blow guy dies on turn sixteen. I've had that happen as well. Um. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't have re-rolled it. Probably shouldn't have done. To be fair, if you don't get a turnover, that's all you can ask for, isn't it? With a block. Absolutely battered the fuck out of him. Nine AV breaks to five. But I mean, he uh, he used his claw mighty blow very very badly, didn't he? He exposed him. He exposed him on multiple occasions and uh, paid the price. Orc thrower for seventeen blocks. Yep, that's he blocked. I blocked every turn with my uh, mighty blow. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen to a page. So one was a re-roll, so he literally blo I did get 16 blocks in with my Mighty Blow guy, which is uh, what it's all about, isn't it? And how many knockdowns did he get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 knockdowns on 16 turns with Mighty Blow. So so while it looks that I've maybe been lucky with the uh, armor breaks, actually it doesn't, no, no, that's, that's mine. While it doesn't even look, it's not even lucky with the armor breaks. So while it could look lucky with the armor breaks, um, it wasn't really lucky because most of the knockdowns were done by a mighty blow guy. Now, I does have armor nine on some of them. To be fair, to be fair, he did have armor nine on a few of them. Um, I think just guard. I've got my one mighty blow guy. Ooh, the edge guy leveled up. What should he get? Double. It's got to be dodge. It's got to be dodge. And, uh, yeah, I can get a second guard player. Um, that is a huge double, isn't it? I right, banged on. What does this guy get? I think he just gets block. I think I'm fine with block on a lineman. I mean, he's got two cards already. He does do block sometimes. I mean, I'd like long term. I'd like a second dirty player. But um, what well, shit? I haven't got caps lock on. What the fuck? Right, banged on. If you had no throw, that could have been catch. Oh man. <laughs> Miss chance for sneaky girl leap. Yeah. Um, now you have a level two dark old blitzer. Yeah, but with a minus injury, but plus one armor, and crucially with strength access still. Um, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't mind a second dirty player really. I really wouldn't mind a second dirty player because having having dirty player is good against. Dirty Chaos Kill Teams. Um, yeah, Dark Elf Lino with plus... With, uh, yeah, Dark Elf Lino with uh, two skills and plus armor. <laughs> He's too good to be a carrier. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, really do need that thrower so AG4 Bludge can do it. That's a very good point, Skrull Dude. Yeah, silly me. Silly, silly me. <laughs> Foul him in the ground. Yeah, I mean, fouling is good for orcs, to be fair. Like, they're, they're, but I don't know. I think I'll go block. I don't know. Anyway, um, all right. Six wins, that horrible loss. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.